In this video, I'm bringing you everything about PAN feature which dropped recently. You will master everything related to PAN, including controlling camera movement, going from portrait to full body shot in minutes, changing your character's outfit while panning and enriching your landscape or architectural photos by adding elements to your scene using the PAN and custom zoom together. At the end of this video, I'll show you how to create incredible panoramic landscape AI photos using PAN feature. Mid Journey just dropped a new feature, they call it panning, it allows you to click up, down, left, right arrows to extend an image in that direction. Say hello to your wildest panoramic dreams. But the maddest thing, you can reprompt between pans so that your images can get super funky. Camera movement allows you to expand your image any direction. This freedom to choose in which direction you want to expand your images makes pan different from zoom out. Let me show you step by step. This new functionality comes with four new buttons below the zoom buttons once you upscaled off to the images from your grid. They indicate the direction in which you can expand your image. And here we expand it to the right side with pan right button. Keep in mind, after panning to left or right, you're stuck to horizontal panning and can't pan vertically. The same goes for a vertical pan after which you can't pan horizontally. Basically, we can continue expanding image in this direction as long as we need more space. Cool thing about pan feature is you can also change your prompt while you're panning towards a direction. To be able to do that, ensure that remix mode is turned on from settings. Let's create a portrait photo. With custom pan, you can change the prompt therefore shape your character's outfit however you want. We can complete the outfit with Berlin style black and leather for our character. And here our image is ready. Notice how I add objects to interior architecture scenes by clicking on arrows and changing the prompt while expanding the image. Here is an exterior architecture image I created. After upscaling I will choose right arrow. Let's add a sunset scene next to our home by adding these words to the original prompt. And here our image is done. You can use pan and zoom out features together to create incredible scenes for your AI photos. Let's start with a classic portrait shot of a woman meditating in a desert. Now I will pan left to add a camel to the scene. Since my remix mode on, Mid Journey will ask me to write a new prompt to the remix box. After I write my prompt here is my image ready. Notice I also made it square to keep it proportional. Next, let's see if we can zoom out and extend this image to add Egyptian pyramids to the background. And remember, we could build this whole scene with just one prompt, but it's still important to have these tools in our arsenal for maximizing our creative control. We will certainly need this in the future. Now let's create a panoramic landscape shot step by step. First, generate an image like usual. Try to include stunning landscape in the prompt. Now pan left and remove the subject, and leave only the landscape inside the prompt. Hit submit. Continue panning left and right to create your landscape. As we mentioned you can add more stuff to scene and you can follow up with a zoom out for your desired outcome. You can find all the images in this video and their prompts in the Mid Journey style guide. See the link down below to download it. If you found this tutorial helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more awesome content. If you want to learn more about creating AI art with Mid Journey and everything AI related click here.